Huh? Gotcha, buddy. Oh my god, a 174, too. Holy crap. <laughs>here and thank you for joining me today as we play some arc on the primitive plus server here on game evolved and of course it's gonna rain <laughs> so uh yeah it's been a little bit guys i didn't show you what's behind me here i got ourselves an rg i actually made i made a raft a taming raft and i went over there and trapped it and it it was horrible in every way. The raft design was just garbage. It, did, it just didn't work the way I wanted it to. So I tore it apart and I started rebuilding um, actually just the base of another nest. Because <laughs> I'm going to make another one of those guys that's got stone on the bottom. Uh, but yeah, I figured I'd show you. I haven't named it yet. Um, I don't know what we're going to do with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> it, like it's a great level man I'm not mad about it at all I just kind of wish I would have got a better video to show you guys but yeah when it was all over it just seemed silly to even show you guys that video so um we're gonna try to find something today um I want to go see the third dino of the trifecta Ooh, okay that I wanted to get for our uh, series here is a uh diplocolis because I want to be able to swim in the water. No scuba gear on Primitive Plus, so I figured that might be a way to go. Um, so it looks like it's about to be night crawl here, so I'm going to go ahead and start heading over towards uh, the swamp, and I'll bring you guys back once we are there. So majestic. Look at this bird. Oh, and a level. How about that? <laughs> So we are at the swamp, and if I've learned one thing from my time on the island, when you find the Diplocolis, you need to move real fast. Because usually when I fly into the swamp and we start spawning stuff in, if you see like Sarcos or Capros all rush into one area, it's a good bet that there's probably a Diplocolis that it's about to be eaten. So that's our goal. We're going to just kind of swoop on through here and see if we can find anything. Let's go ahead and give uh, the birds some speed. Alright, so that's going to be the goal. Let's dive in here real quick. Hopefully we don't get snatched off our mount by a crazy cat Prasukas. see what's going on. It doesn't have to be... The Diplocolis doesn't have to be a high level. I just want to get one so we can get, uh, like, Silica Pearls and stuff pretty easily. So, let me just do a quick fly through here. Nothing so far. <laughs> See, you see the sarcos and stuff. You have to start looking. Titan boys. You actually hit me from there? Alright. What's up here, sir? There's snails and stuff. And I've never actually looked for a Diplocolis on the center. So, I don't know how hard this is going to be to find. Just figured I'd bring you guys with me for the first little section here. Um, I'll probably just do a quick cut here, guys. And I'm going to keep looking. If I find one, I will bring you back. Oh, ho, ho, I found one, guys. Huh? Gotcha, buddy. Oh, my God, a 174, too. Holy crap. <laughs> Alright, so now we just got to get it back someplace that'll be safe to tame it. Um, I, don't, I don't know where to do that. <laughs> I don't have like a place to tame anything yet. And I actually don't even know if I, <laughs> if I have enough tricks to take this guy down. Uh, well, okay. Yeah, I mean, you can't, you can't say no to 174, right? I mean, that's only one level off of max. Alright. We'll figure this out. I'll bring you guys back. I, I think I might just head back to our boat. We're pretty close to the central ruins here where everyone else is kind of doing some stuff. So maybe I can do that here in the centerpiece. Alright, I'll take a look. I'll bring you guys back hopefully in just a second. Man, a 174 would be epic to get here. Alright, back in a few.
I had to go borrow some stuff from Monkey Puzzle. So, buddy, if you're watching, I'm going to repay you. I need to make a longbow because it says that a longbow uh, is going to take less tranquilizer arrows. And I have not a ton of them. So, um, we're, we're going to try that out. Let's see. I dropped him over here because he seemed at least somewhat contained. Yeah, okay. He's still there. Now, I want to try one more thing. Uh, Jim Bob figured out that... You can use a yurt to trap things, and then they can't get out. But these guys can get out of doorways, so I'm not sure that that's going to work, but we're going to try it. Now, I don't have a ton of these, so you go to sleep quick, buddy, okay? Because I don't want to kill you. And I only have 24 of these left, so sleep time, little guy. Now I'll go get some prime meat, hopefully, soon. Right, that's four. I think it said 12-ish. Come on, buddy. You're just keeping that crazy run right there, and you just fall asleep for me. Okay, so far so good. Not getting hurt. This yurt thing is hilarious. It can't go any place. Yep, you just stay right there, buddy. Oh, I can see some blood on your tail. I don't like that. Don't die. Sleepy time? Move different so for a second I thought it might have gone down. It did not though. Sleep time. Oh ho baby. Alright, you're asleep. I remember how fast your stuff goes down, so let's go get some prime meat. I'll bring you guys back in just a sec. Okay, we're back. We got some prime meat. Let's see what we can do with this guy. Still asleep. Good, good, good. Let's go ahead and do Prime. I found myself a whole pack of Brontos. Unfortunately, like, three of them were super high level. Oh, okay, yeah, you're good on that part. Prime, and we're gonna just transfer all items. Yep. How are you doing? You gonna eat anything yet? Why do you say put food in your inventory? Do you... Do you not eat prime for some reason? I'm, I thought that you guys prime tame. Thought you did. What? What the heck? Did you just eat regular meat? No? Okay. Okay. You just had to have regular meat on you for some reason. That's weird. Alright, what's your health at, buddy? 413. Ooh, hoo, hoo, buddy. Alright, so this stuff does not have a huge long timer. It looks like he might need more. Hmm. Okay. I'll bring you guys back in just a few. Welcome back, guys. I am just collecting up some final prime meat to be on the safe side. I don't even think we need it, but I'm just trying to be safe. So let's go ahead and get back over here. And we'll see how this guy is doing. Uh, so far, I've killed four brontos yeah four brontos and three stegos um there's no we haven't changed the spoil timers at all so it's i think it's just the vanilla rates which is fine uh it just means that stuff spoils a little faster so i'm trying to be cautious and make sure we don't lose levels by keeping this guy fed all the time so he was pretty close to being tamed already um so yeah it shouldn't be too bad let's go ahead and just grab this prime How you doing, buddy? Oh, yeah. Just one more, I think. And he's got Prime on him. That should still be fine. But just to be on the safe side. Let's go ahead and do that. So, yeah. We should be good to go, guys. Should just be one more feeding. And we should have ourselves a Diplocolis. Oh, there it is. A 259. That is fantastic. All right. We're going to go ahead and put our tag on it. But we are going to actually leave this guy someplace that he can be used uh, by pretty much everybody. This is gonna, we're going to call him Pearl Diver. So, 
the big reason I wanted to make sure we get this guy, let's pick up that yurt, is because I wanted to make sure we could go down and get some pearls. Uh, and without scuba, it's pretty hard to do that here. And there's tons of nasty things around here that can hurt us. But there is a place that I think will be safe to go and get tons of, tons of pearls, I think. Now, I know we can definitely get oil, but if you guys ever watched my old mod stuff, you'll know that I built my base on this river. And there is an underground cavern that has some pretty cool stuff in it. So we're going to head that way right now. And we're going to go see how well this guy works. All right, guys. We are here in some caverns. I hope you guys know where this is at. Uh, it's right there on the map. So we're actually just inside. And if you go underneath here, there's a pretty cool spot. We've got Pearl Diver on follow. Let's go ahead and have him follow me in here. Make it, buddy. Here we go. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and oh nope, I need to ride, buddy. Come here. Now we can just bloop. We can just dive right in. Our oxygen will not go down. It's going to be amazing. And this place is pretty safe. Um, this actually connects over to some other areas. But look at all, look at all of this down here. There's tons and tons and tons of pearls down here. This is great. And I can just actually, I wonder. So I've got to go ahead and go grab this this way. But So I can go ahead and just pick him up. Oh, he's, he's right on top of me. <laughs> yeah, so now we can just go ahead and uh, we can just pick some stuff up here. <laughs> we can get some oil and stuff down here too. And he'll keep following us. And then all I have to do is that if we get kind of close to losing our oxygen, we can either just oop, like fill up and get some air. Or we can go ahead and ride again. And he's pretty fast. So that'll work really nicely. Let me actually take it this way too. Because there's a cooler thing. So there's two things. There's actually sometimes there's a drop down here. Uh, it's like a cave drop. Uh, looks like there's not one here now. But there's an artifact over here all the time. So we'll go ahead and just go right over here. Oh, oh, there's a drop right there too. Okay. So we'll take that. And then we might as well go... See what we got over there? Well, look at this. Alright. What do we got here? Ooh, a blueprint for an apprentice hatchet. What do I have now? Oh, fantastic. Guys, how awesome is that? <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and just get a whole bunch of pearls while I'm down here. We're just gonna I'm just gonna fill up. And then uh, I'll meet you guys back up top and we can kind of see what we got going on next. Yeah, all right, guys. We are done. You good, buddy? Why don't you follow me up the stairs just a little bit? Yeah, there you go, buddy. There you go. You can just hang out right here. So, uh, Pearl Diver did great. Let's take a look at what we got so far. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Almost 700 pearls. That is just silly. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Uh, you know, one good turn deserves another, right? So why wouldn't we go for a second one? <laughs> so I've got one that's going to be for the community, and I've got one that's going to be for me. I just got to get this guy back to uh, the same place. This girl, ooh, female and a male, nice. So I'm going to get her back to the same place we tamed the other guy. And I'll get that yeared out, and we'll get this one rolling, too. Back in a few. So we're waiting for that double cause to team up. I figured I would get some more crystal because we're going to need that to make some glass anyways. If I bring you guys up, just to show you, you know, came some crystal. We're not too far away, actually. Uh, I'll show you in just a second once I get this, uh, this next one here done. Uh, which kind of just right around the corner from... Oh, well, I'm overweight. Well, I mean, I'm always <laughs> overweight, but... So it's actually right around the corner from us. Let's go ahead and drop the stone. I'm going to eat this mushroom. We're still good to go. We're good to go. All right, so I grabbed a little bit more prime from uh, I killed a Bronto and then I just killed a Stego to be in the safe side. So right there are the central ruins. So if you need crystal, that's a good spot right there for it as long as you can get up there. So we're gonna head back over there. We'll see how it's doing. Um, I think that well, I mean we're gonna keep Pearl Diver. <laughs> it's a higher level. This 150 will still do very well for the community. Uh, and I know that Monkey Puzzle. Uh, I think that he plans on getting started. Uh, with Neo pretty soon over here. Uh, Monkey actually built this uh, 
like a builder's raft, which is pretty awesome. Once we get this guy teamed up, I'll show you guys the builder's raft. But uh, they're going to be building, it uh, sounds like a big floating village right here. And it's going to have, like, cool little shops for everything. Um, you know, like, you know, blacksmiths will have their own shop and all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty cool. I don't know what I'm going to build over here with them. I, you know, whatever they need, I will be here to help them build. So I think that, you know, if we each might take a, uh, might each take something, you know, like specifically, we might just take, you know, a blacksmith shop or, or something like that. So do I only have three? I thought I got more from that. All right. A little stego. I don't know that we're going to even need that. I just wanted to have something that had a higher spoil timer than these other guys, just in case. But, so yeah, this girl's taming up. Once it's done, I will take you guys over and I will show you uh, the raft that Monkey built. Because we're going to try to get some, um, we're going to try to get some glass cooking for him. So I'll bring you guys back in just a few. <laughs> it looks like she tamed up. So there we go. She's a 223 and her name is going to be Prim Scuba. <laughs> Bloop, let's pick this up. Look at that. Oh, aren't you going to be great for these guys, too? All right, so let's go ahead and pick up Prim. And we're going to go ahead and just take her over to uh, Monkey's building raft. And actually, I'm going to show you something else, too. I don't remember if I showed you earlier or not. Um, Cryo, uh, who's on a couple servers with us, obviously, <laughs> built a pretty cool containment raft, uh, which would have been great to use for this, except these Diplocolises can make it through door frames. So I learned that the hard way on the GE server, and you can see here that he's got doorways all the way around. So if it like this is a pretty cool little place, you just drop him in through the top. I think Monkey actually used uh, used that raft to tame up his uh, his bear, but yeah, you can drop him in the top, and for pretty much anything else, it'd be fine. But for the double claws, they just sneak right through. All right, so this is Monkey's building raft. Uh, Prim should be just fine there for a second by herself. I'll be right here. Don't die, Prim. Okay. Uh, so he built the whole thing out of concrete, it looks like. Yeah, concrete on the bottom. And it just has a ton of storage. And this the station set up. And we've got forges and hand mills and all this stuff. Like, this is this is the place, man. When it's ready to start building this crazy place, the, everything you need is going to be right here. That's really cool. Uh, so what we already started doing was, I figured, uh, since I know they're going to need a bunch of glass, that was kind of the, one of the points of getting uh, Prim and uh, Pearl Diver, is that we need silica pearls. Now, to make glass, you need to put them in a forge. You need to put silica pearls and crystal. So we can look inside. You see we got some glass already. I just grabbed the crystal that I had and a bunch of the pearls I just picked up. I'm going to put the other ones over here, too, uh, and get the stuff started so you guys can kind of see. But, yeah, to make glass... You just need to do crystal and pearls inside a refining forge, and it takes a while. So I figured that I'd get this stuff started before those guys are actually back on the server. Uh, I don't know when Monkey plans on starting, but I think it's going to be pretty soon that he plans on getting stuff rolling for this. So, for, you know, I figured it'd be a good idea to kind of get stuff rolling and get everything in the system to uh, make this stuff easy for everybody. So uh, I think that's it, guys. We got ourselves uh, Prim Scuba here for the GE Primitive Plus community. We picked up Pearl Diver for our own personal use. I'm gonna take Pearl back to the, uh, back to our raft, our nest, and he's gonna live on top with uh, Furball and this yet to be named RG. So yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, drop a like below. You can always subscribe for more content, and I will catch you on the flip side.